Hi guys, I am back once again. Make him short recording because last time. Oof. Yes, I am back once again. Part two of day one. Just finished watching it. And uh yeah, man. Last few matches were fun. <laughs> we had my boy Suji versus Kaito. So this was an interesting matchup. I was like, this is my first time seeing him in ring in terms of like in his new persona. The smile, the, the smiling man. The smiling man, you know? So, <laughs> this guy is so menacing, bro. He, he's giving his fire, bro. <sighs> once they push, once they fully rocket ship him, boy, to the top, this guy's gonna make some serious money, bro. I can see already this guy's got charisma for days without even saying a word. Uh, great move set. Um, yeah, man. One of my faves already, bro. He hasn't even done that much already yet. But, um, yeah, Kaito, uh, Noah guy. I don't know what to write him, but I saw a little bit of him when he was facing Okada. But, um, yeah, decent wrestler. Very decent wrestler. Um, the commentary was filling in a lot of the stuff that we didn't know about about him, which I, which I love. This is why I love New Japan and Kevin Kelly, you know what I'm saying? And <coughs> the other guy who's with, he's always there. I can't remember his name. I had to, I had to remember his name at some point. I'm going, I'm going to. But, um, great team. Kevin Kelly, amazing. Um, but yeah. Um, the other guy, he's really good too. Don't, don't get me wrong, he's really good too. He's like a great guy. Great player, um, commentator as well. So, um, yeah, they go, they go at it. Kaito's literally just taking apart Suji's knees. Um, because, um, Suji was playing about with Kaito. He was messing about with him. He could have ended him a couple of times. He was messing around a little bit too much. Um, showing off his dominance, trying to assert his dominance upon Kaito. Kaito were having it, a uh, few imp impact moves, um, then goes for the, you know what I'm saying, the Kijimoto shining, shining wizard. You know what I'm saying, one, two, three. Beat Suji, I was, I don't know, because Suji, listen to Kaito, because I know Kaito's probably got more prestige right now, but at the same time, I thought Suji would have won. But, um, but hey, um, hey, they've humbled him really early, so hopefully Suji can just uh, build upon in this G1. I don't want him to be one of these guys who goes out early, uh, well, just like goes down a ton of points early. I'm um, going to start racking up some points at some point, so I don't really know who's, who's facing next, but um, yeah, man, I hope Suji gets some points on the board, a decent amount of points because I don't think he'll make it to the next round, but no, to the um, to the semis, but he'll uh. Hopefully he does well. Kaito, I don't know how far they're gonna push him in this G1. Um, so obviously he's trying to do a kind of redemption type of arc with him um, because apparently no one really has faith in him. I mean his status as a um, top guy. So that's the kind of thing that he's trying to prove being in this G1, being a Noah guy. Um, just like Kento was to be honest. Kento is the Noah guy. Um, came into New Japan a couple of years ago. And uh, they were like, Kenta, what the freak are you doing here, bro? King of Noah, what are you doing here, homie? Um, so, yeah, so similar things to do with Kenta. So, he's got like, a similar Kenta arc. Um, but, um, yeah, man. Um, Kato is the Shining Wizard. One, two, three. Yeah, he moves on. Got some, collected some points. Um, second match, second to last match uh, was Tai Chi Osprey. Okay. Tai Chi and Osprey. You know what I'm saying? Pfft, solid match. This match was really good. Osprey selling a um, perforated eardrum at one point. Equilibrium was off. Um, selling. I loved it. Will is very underestimated in this setting. He can do all these high flying stuff. You know what I'm saying? These high impact, vicious strikes. But he said and he's very underrated. He's got some, some good offense. You know what I'm saying? Especially lately, he's been doing this very good job at selling. Tai Chi, exceptional. We know about Tai Chi. Tai Chi, sell, selling, 10. Offense, 10. We know this. Charisma, 10. We know this. Um, but yeah, Tai Chi was playing the underdog in this match. Osprey was kicking his butt. At one point, Osprey runs to the outside, looks at the stop clock, and just sees six minutes have gone by and goes, 20 minute time limit, bro. I want to kick your ass for the rest of the minutes I've got left. Just, just mocking Tai Chi the entire match. Then Tai Chi started to get ahead of steam. Um, 
tears the trunks off Black Mephisto, boom, gets the W. Kind of shocked me a little bit because he's the United States champion uh, for New Japan. Uh, Osprey took an L here, so Taichi's going to get a shot at that belt at some point. So that's going to be interesting to see if Taichi gets some uh, gold. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, American gold. So Taichi maybe going overseas. You rarely see Taichi go overseas. I've, I've never seen him go overseas, actually. I've never seen it. Um, he's, probably, he's obviously done it, but I've never seen him like, wow, well, I just actually like, gone over there. Just like, this a, 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 a little bit of an uh, adventure overseas. Um, especially with, with, if he wins the belt, I want him to win a, sub, a belt that I can just go overseas with. That's what I want to see. I want to see Taichi fight some American wrestlers. Um, that's what I want to see. He's got the gimmick for it. Um, so yeah, Black Mephisto. Black Mephisto! He did it, man. Love that name for that finish. That finish has got a great name. Black Mephisto. My god, that's so cool. Just like he is. Um, but where's his girl at? I haven't seen his girl in a while. Where is she? When he comes out with, singing out with. But yeah. I mean, I've got to do some research. Yeah, anyways, moving on. <laughs> We got the last match. Um, yeah, uh, Suji Kaito was A block. B block, Taichi Osprey, A block again. This is um, Hikaleo versus Sanada. Uh, Sanada, uh, he's not impressing me as the world champion. Um, for some reason, he's got even more boring than before. If that was possible, cold to cold, he can kind of do it because he wasn't talking, it was kind of his gimmick. But now it's just like, nah, that's who he was, bro. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> even impact, he, he was like, he had more charisma and impact. It was really weird. Um, never said much in impact, but he had more charisma then for some reason. But now it's just like, it seems when Tai Chi, you can tell he's part of the five guys crew, and you can tell Tai Chi's trying to bring it out of him, trying to bring that charisma, trying to draw something, he was trying to. To sort out the stone, you know what I'm saying? Trying his best to get something, trying to draw some blood out of the stone, something. But it's, it's tough right now. So now this is just uh, not very charismatic. I've, I've tried to defend him for years, but I can't do it anymore, bro. Because <laughs> another has got no charisma. He has no charisma, bro. I'm I'm afraid to say, but he has not. Um, he was the world champion. Champion is not hitting. It's, I'm not feeling it, and a lot of people are not feeling it as well. In his reign so far, so he's doing a lot of proving right now, and uh, yeah, this match didn't help. <laughs> Let's just say that still got a lot left to do. Uh, Hikaleo did the better job than Sonata in this match. Hikaleo did some decent offense, the big guy, big man, big guy. Um, he's still evolving, still learning as a young goo, a young, maybe young goo, young dude. And uh, yeah, man, he's got he's got a lot of time left, and uh, he's doing well. Um, he's um, he's got some charisma to him. He's got there's something there with Heko Leo. There is something there. Um, see, so, yeah, so follow him. Don't give up on Heko Leo. There's something there. Um, dead fall. So now he gets the W out of the um the choke slam attempt from um, his finisher from um, Heko Leo. <coughs> Can't remember Heko Leo calls his finisher. Um, what do you call it? It calls it something. I can't remember what it calls it. Um, but let me let me search that real quick. What's here? Hikaleo called his finisher. Hikaleo. 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 I think I'll go to my special site. Where is it? <laughs> go to my favorite site, bro. Where's his finisher? His finisher is. No, not the T bomb. It's called something else. What's it called? It's gonna take forever. I don't want to spend too long on this. Find his finisher. Mm. What's it called? What's his finisher called? What the hell? You see it here? No, it's not gonna say it's not, I can't find it. Um but yeah man, it's like a, it's like a choke slam. He, he calls it something. I can't really cause it. But yeah. Um dead four for the win for W. 
for Sanada. And he moves on uh, to his next match. Uh, I wasn't really impressed with Sanada. Sanada is kind of. Uh, some of his, 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 his charisma has just t took even more of a nosedive. I don't know how that was even possible. What the heck is going on with Sanada? Anyways, uh, yeah, that was the um, final. He, he probably called out Tai Chi. Tai Chi was cracking some jokes. Uh, made Sonata laugh. And I was like, the first time you see this guy just like showing an ounce of something. Because Tai Chi seems to bring that out of him. And uh, I like seeing that because I want Sonata to display some something. Um, but yeah, at the end of day one, uh, tell me you guys in the conversation down below. Do you think I'm going too far in Sonata? Do you think I'm doing too much? Do you think I'm doing the most with Sonata? Tell me what you think in the conversation down below. But yeah, man, <sighs> day two review is coming soon. Um, like, share, subscribe. You know what to do. Press the notification bell, baby. It helps the algorithm. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.